So here is the ASUS RT AC68U dual band gigabit router. It's uh, 802.11 AC. Uh, it's AC 1900 and um, this is capable of, uh, it's a dual band capable of uh, 2.4 and uh, 5 gigahertz. Um, it has two uh, USB ports, uh, one USB 2 and one USB 3 and uh, there's uh, there's an app for both uh, Android and and uh, iOS um, using the AI cloud um, software um, it has uh, four gigabit uh, Ethernet uh, ports uh, of course since it's an AC 1900 it has wider coverage um, this is good for uh, media server because it's capable of uh, DLNA. Um, it has a download uh, master, so you could. Um, it's an app, so you could download 24/7 uh, uh, via torrent. And um, it's a, it has an AI disk, which you can basically connect a USB storage device and turn it into either an FTP server or a DDNS. You can install uh, wireless uh, printers and um, it has uh, other support uh, I mean uh, features like parental control or you can activate a guest network and you can um, set up a VPN server so at the back here so as you can see the speed for a uh, 1900 um, um, uh, router it's uh, three times uh, faster uh, compared to regular 5 gigahertz and 33% faster to compared to other 2.4 gigahertz uh, uh, router so let's try to unbox uh, what's inside this uh, this router Alright, so here's uh, out of the box. Right, so you have the usual uh, documents, the CD for the driver, the warranty card, and of course the manual. You've got the three antenna. You've got the adapter for power, another one here, and this is the AC power cord. You've got the Ethernet uh, cable, the power cord, and you've got the router itself. Alright, so this one, this is uh, stands uh, vertically. You've got here, um, here are the LED indicators which you can turn on and off. Um, at the top side, you've got the three ports for the antenna. And here at the bottom, you have um, the power on and off uh, switch, the jack for the power. You've got the USB um, 2.0 uh, uh, port. You've got the USB 3 port. You've got here the uh, Ethernet uh, port. You've got the LED on and off uh, switch. So you could turn on and off the LED. And here you've got the four uh, gigabit uh, Ethernet ports. So that's it. Uh, this is the ASUS uh, RTA60. Uh, 68U so I'll be creating another video for the performance test of this router thank you okay so here's how to set up the AC uh, the Asus AC 68U um, dual band router it's the AC 1900 from Asus after putting in the um, router uh, password 
this is the next screen basically you have to assign a name for the SSID or the service set identifier that would uh, identify your wireless network so it's a dual band um, for the 2.4 gigahertz security you have to put in the network as network name for my end I put in the tech on site and uh, I put a check mark on copy the 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz settings so but you can um, you can put in uh, another name here if uh, you want to then I put in the network key and I cho um, you have to choose apply so um, you'll, um, you'll be disconnected but then um, uh, you can try to uh, reconnect again okay and then uh, from this part um, it says that there's a latest uh, firmware available so I just have to click yes to install the uh, the updated firmware so I'll be back until uh, this uh, completes uh, installing the new firmware for the uh, Asus AC1900 or the RT AC68U okay it says done uh, you just have to uh, manually reboot the RT AC68U manually okay so by default uh, the default uh, username and password is admin password is admin now for security purposes uh, you have to put in a customized uh, password for its uh, security protection then once done you just have to click modify then uh, it should save the new password uh, that you have uh, put in all right so this is the system status uh, the default uh, SSID for the uh, 2.4 gigahertz band is ASUS but um, you can put in um, another SSID that you want let's say for myself I'll put uh, tech on site for authentication method um, I'll choose WPA2 personal and I'll put in the WPA key and I'll choose um, apply okay now for the uh, 5 gigahertz I'll put in here tech on site ph underscore 5g or 5 gigahertz then WPA2 personnel put in again the password then apply 